One of the things about academic dishonesty in the classroom is that it really narrows the scope of the discourse that you get into with students. So you actually do things in a very shallow or a very temporal way. And if you really want to drive students into areas of critical thinking where they look at material, analyze it, synthesize it, evaluate, and then make a creative response to it, most assignments where students are you know, using academic dishonesty in the classroom are things that happen the same year after year after year. And so for the professor, you really have to find ways to not repeat what you've done. All stems from the type of environment that I set up in the classroom um, when I'm working with students. And so it's it, it goes back to creating an atmosphere that is safe for them, um, that is inclusive, where they feel valued, where they feel like their um, their opinion is heard, um, and it's okay to it's okay to disagree, and it's okay to say I don't understand. Setting up a classroom atmosphere that that is safe and inclusive is the most important part of working with and helping students in the area of academic integrity, because if you start talking to students it's just about um, it's not okay, you know, to be, to lie or to be dishonest. They, they kind of, they shut down right away. They get defensive. It's really important that you've done the work and laid that, that, that positive classroom atmosphere foundation. We also have a, a classroom culture that rewards um, effort, not solely focusing on the grade, but the process that you take, the learning process that you take to get to the end, like effort. How much effort did you put into your work? Um, your participation in group works, for instance. Um, encourage collaboration, persistence, determination, and you know the time that you put in all the tasks or assignments that you were given. So I think if you want to activate higher order thinking or critical thinking, you want to give something that's a, a little more open-ended and, and provides choice. It allows them to integrate their own experiences with the content you're trying to do. So for me, the best way to do that is to open up the assignment and make it something that's in a sense not rote, but something that's a little more creative. You explain it to students by telling them your ideas matter. I want to read what you have to say, maybe encouraging students to, here's what I have to say, and then the educator being committed enough to revise it and to providing good feedback, right? Sometimes we have these standards, and, and it's good to have really high standards, but sometimes students are intimidated. So sometimes just communicating, I'll be there to help you if you feel like you can't meet that standard would be helpful.